Today at Guitar Tone Central, we are cooking up three delicious flavors of Strat pickups for your enjoyment. Welcome everybody to Guitar Tone Central. I am Mark and we are here to explore tone for you and uh, find out what kind of pickups have what kind of tones because that's what guitar playing is all about. It's about tone discovery. It's about shaking up your, your music, your uh, expression. And in order to do that, you kind of need to know what pickups sound like because there's so many different flavors. And today we're bringing you three different uh, brands. We're giving, you, we're giving you pickups from Kent, Bill, and Rob. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you can know when our next video is coming out. Okay, Kent is Ken Armstrong. That's what's in this uh, pickup set. Then we have Bill, Bill Lawrence from years ago, uh, but now they're called Wild Pickups, but that's Bill Lawrence design. And Rob is Rob Turner of EMG. So we've got two sets of passives and an active, and we're just gonna take a listen see what kind of, uh, you know, reaction, background, what kind of dimension we get from these pickups. So you can have an idea of maybe what you'd want to put in your Strat. Uh, uh, so what we're going to do is make this official. So now we're going to crank up our uh, Mesa Boogie 550 Express. We're going through a Celestion Vintage 30 speaker like we usually do, SM57 mic to pick it all up. And so we're just going to strum some clean tones because that way you get kind of an idea of how they ring, how they sparkle, resonate, and so on. Because that's kind of with Strat pickups. A lot of times you expect a jangly type of tone, but sometimes you get something a little bit different. So we're going to find out what makes these different. And um, we'll post the specs down below. Talking about specs, one pickup versus the other, is a little difficult because it's not the entire picture. Just because one pickup is wound to this many K and the other one's wound to that many K, it gives you an idea of the resistance of the wire, but it does not necessarily tell you what that tone is gonna be. It's really a combination of different things, the magnets, uh, the type of wire, um, and in this case, there's a preamp because these are active. So it, it all, is a recipe. Like I said, we're cooking up some strat tones today. So here we go. Let's let's strum these out. We're only going to do the pickups individually. Okay? So you can hear what each pickup sounds like by itself and all will be in the exact same position. So let's see what we got. All right? Let's start with the Ken Armstrong. Let's we'll just start with the bridge cuz here we'll play for you the bridge of each one. You can hear those back to back, the middle and then the neck back to back. Let's go let's go exploring.
All right, so we've heard all combinations. You've heard all three of the bridge pickups, all three of the middle pickups, all three of the neck pickups side by side. Before I give you my comments, give it a little thought, post your comments down below and let us know what you think of this, this combination of pickups. All of them have a great flavor. All of them are a little bit different. Depends on what you're looking for in a song. Okay, so let's talk about the bridge pickups. All right, with the Ken Armstrong, we had a pretty strong, mellow, middle of the road, for me, you know, tone out of those, out of those pickups. The Bill Lawrences were a little more subdued, a little more background, a little more rhythm, you know, not so much lead, uh, still very smooth, but a little, a little bit less kick, I guess, a little less horsepower on, <laughs> on those. Um, and then of course the EMGs, they're a little bit more bright, a little more brash, a little more bold. You notice that. Uh, when you hear them. So it depends on what flavor you're looking for, because you can always mix and match pickups. You know, when you set up your Strat, you can put in a combination of pickups. It does not have to be all one type, all one brand, all one style, uh, unless your Strat can't have both actives and passives at the same time like this can, uh, but uh, you can mix and match or get a Somnium guitar and then it's no problem. Okay, so now the middle pickups. Very, very different scenario, okay? The Ken Armstrongs right away went darker. Very obvious. You would think that you're going up the strings. The Bill Lawrence, wow, bright, bold, okay? Very different from the bridge pickup that was more mellow and subdued. Now their middle pickup, it's bright. It's in your face. And then the EMG, now that's kind of the middle of the road. Still a little bit lower, still had some brightness to it. So it's kind of the in-between choice for the middle. Okay, so on the neck pickups, again, crazy, different scenario, all right? For me, the EMG actives actually were kind of the, the lowest tone. They were the, the darker of the bunch. Uh, the Bill Lawrence was the brighter of the bunch. And then the Ken Armstrong neck pickup was the middle of the road actually for me had a little bit more brightness than the middle pickup, which seems kind of backwards since it's closer to the neck, but that's how the pickup is voiced. So we got three completely different scenarios for what happens as you go up the neck with these pickups. So this gives you a little bit of an idea of how you might want to set up combinations if you want to keep it bright all the way throughout. I think we had the EMG was the brightest in the bridge. And I think the Bill Lawrence middle and Bill Lawrence neck were the brightest in those positions. If you like to go mellow, then we've got, you know, the Bill Lawrence was more subdued or the, or the Ken Armstrong for the bridge. And then you've got the EMG was kind of middle of the road for the middle and the Ken Armstrong seemed to be more middle of the road tone in, in, with its neck pickup. And if you're going for a more overall darker tone, well, that EMG, instead of in the bridge, you're gonna want the EMG neck pickup. You're gonna want that Bill Lawrence. Well, you could have the Bill Lawrence in the middle, but I think the Bill, Bill Lawrence in the neck, uh, in the bridge rather, gives you that subdued tone. Keep the EMG for your neck pickup. The Ken Armstrong was definitely had that deep dark tone in the middle. So if that's what you're going for, folks, that's the combinations, that's the flavor recipe that we cooked up while we were exploring single coil tones today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave us your comments down below. Thank you very much for being here. We greatly appreciate it. We'll see you next time on Guitar Tone Central.